Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a factory XM antenna on a, uh, this will work on 2003 to 2006, um, some 2007 classic style GM trucks. Um, this is a 2006 Cadillac Escalade EXT that I'm working on today, putting an Alpine double din navigation in it and uh, also adding Sirius XM radio. So, first thing you want to do is open up the glove box and you just push in on each side right here and the whole thing will come down. And what you're looking for, now this one's already been removed, but normally there's a module right here, okay? And this is the cable you're looking for right here. This is the factory XM antenna cable for satellite radio. Okay, and all we're going to do, basically, is we're going to pop that center connector out of this outside housing, and that's what we're going to use. So today we're going to be using the Sirius XM SXV200 satellite tuner, and if you can see on this side, this is the um, antenna port on this tuner, and you can see that this obviously is not going to connect into that. It's way too big. So what we need to do is remove that center conductor or center connector out of the factory antenna plug so we can plug it into the SXV200. Now this will work on almost any satellite tuner. Um, most of them have the same jack. As long as you can be able to mount this somewhere near this cable and have enough room, um, this will work on the old uh, 920XM uh, Pioneer connectors, uh, tuners, and many, many more. So pretty much anything with that connector. Even if it does take a style connector like this one, generally you can just pop this off, plug it in, and you don't actually need it to snap in. It, it holds itself on there plenty good with just friction. I mean, that's how most of the newer ones work. This is just held on here with friction. There's no tabs or anything um, to lock it in it just kind of slides over it and holds itself on so that's plenty good enough it's not so going anywhere. What we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to remove this outside casing from the antenna cable so it's actually really easy to do all you have to do is pop these little tabs away from the white plastic piece in the middle on each side and you'll be able to remove the antenna cable so you just use a pick tool just kind of bend these out of the way, be pretty gentle with them, you don't want to break them off. Once you get them out of the way, it literally just slides right off. Then this is broken into two halves, you just pull each side off, and that's it. That's all you need to do to use the factory satellite antenna. This will now just literally plug right into the SXV200. And it's held in there pretty good, just like the factory antenna that would come with this would be. It's just a friction fit. And that's it. Uh, now you just need to mount this in the dash, run your cable up to your head unit, and you're done. It's very simple. Okay guys, I just wanted to point out that this will not affect your factory OnStar system. Um, if we take a look up inside the dash here, you can see this connector right here. This is actually the antenna for the OnStar. Okay, it uses a separate cable than the XM tuner. So in this module right here with all these plugs in it, right above, is your OnStar tuner. So this has no effect on your OnStar. Uh, that will all remain as long as you got the aftermarket module to be able to use OnStar with your aftermarket radio. Um, that will still stay intact. Okay, so I've got everything put back together. I um, have the Sirius XM hooked up and everything but the main dash panel back on. So now I'm going to try the Sirius and make sure everything works. And there we go. So that's using the factory uh, XM antenna in the car. It works perfectly. So that's it. It's that easy.